In less than a week, Grand Island students will be going back to school. Dr. Brian Graham, the superintendent of schools there, is here to talk about the upcoming year. We were just chit-chatting in the commercial break a little bit. You're very excited. Um, teachers start soon here today. Yeah, we have teachers today and tomorrow for staff development. And students next week, Tuesday. We, we couldn't be more excited. Let's get going with uh, talking about COVID. It's back to normal, more or less, is what we're hearing from several superintendents we're speaking to. Is that the case on Grand Island as well? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we are thrilled that the restrictions are fading away. <clears throat> we can have a program that is very similar to the program where kids uh, start at school pre-COVID. And, uh, you know, it's just going to make uh, the whole school year uh, a happier place. Good. You have 20 new teachers this year in the district. Um, many chose to retire. Um, tell me about the new teachers that you're kind of bringing into the school district and if you're having any problems with shortages in that department. Yeah, so teachers, great. Yeah, we just finished a new teacher academy last week, uh, four days with all the new teachers going through an onboarding program you know, in our district. Uh, that went exceptionally well. Uh, there are some needs, so if any of the viewers are interested in becoming a substitute teacher or a substitute bus driver, uh, those are always important needs in every district. Uh, we are looking for an auto mechanic. So if mm. someone has uh, an interest in working on uh, school vehicles, uh, buses and trucks, please contact our human resources. How difficult is it going to be maybe for you and your colleagues this year to deal with some of those staffing shortages as the years, uh, excuse me, the school year goes on? I think it's it's opened our eyes to, you know, we need, we need to do a better job in recruiting. Uh, we're using radio advertisements now. Um, maybe we'll talk later about television, um, print media, social media. We're uh, heavily uh, using Twitter. And, and then we reach out to all of our families and communities so that they know uh, they could tell a friend or a family member of these opportunities. So we just need to be a little bit more proactive with our recruiting. Um, school starts very, very soon here. What else is kind of new for the schools um, as this new new year starts? Yeah, I, I can tell you our mission is to inspire all students to achieve their greatest potential through academic excellence, personal growth, and social responsibility. To achieve that mission, it's all about positive relationships, making sure that kids feel valued, respected, and connected to their school. Uh, that's a big focus in Grand Island. Our high school, uh, this summer, we had a, uh, an intensive restorative practices training for all of our, well, for many of our teachers and support staff, uh, mental health uh, professionals, administrators. Uh, in our middle school yesterday was the Where Everybody Belongs mentoring program that kicked off. Uh, so just to give you a little a peek into what that means every sixth grader coming to middle school has an eighth grade mentor oh, nice. so in our district we identify about 30 to 32 eighth grade leaders who are trained to be mentors and through this web program where everybody belongs the sixth graders will now have an eighth grade peer mentor throughout their entire journey uh, all the way through high school because of that connected uh, program Yesterday it was filled with uh, team building activities, a lot of fun and excitement, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of that web program. And you know, it just so happens, uh, shifting gears a bit, the Bills are looking for a punter right now. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Island happens to have an alumni That's right. who is a very good punter. Any message you want to share with Brandon Bean this morning? Absolutely. <laughs> if you want letters of recommendation from John Roth, <laughs> Dean Santorio, and myself, we are ready. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about that opportunity. Yeah. Brett Kern was just in our district this summer doing a clinic for free for our students. That's awesome. And, oh, he sounds uh, like a great guy. Yeah, he is absolutely a great guy. And, uh, uh, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay. Just released from the Tennessee Titans and a free agent now, and we will see uh, what happens there. Dr. Graham, thanks All so right. much for coming, and we thank wish you, you luck this school year. All right, thank, thank you, you very much.